So Rory and Ma react to Joe Budden being ranked number one as a hip hop media personality. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So in the latest episode of their new Rory and Ma podcast, the duo sifted through Complex's list, which went live on April 3rd, and referred to their former host as a thief and cat burglar due to their financial issues with Joe Budden that ultimately ruined their time on his podcast. Oh, of course. Look at that. <sighs> the <But> thief. <laughs> the cat burglar. <laughs> <laughs> big, big integrity. <laughs> big integrity. Big tech? Oh, big tech. man. <laughs> look at the cat the burglar. The one-two punch of big, big tech. tech. Look at the cat burglar. Look and look, staring off into the next house he wants to run in. Uh, <laughs> big cat. That's big cat. Is that a mirror? Quiet as a mouse. I believe that this person belongs in the, t- in the top five. So I, yeah. I'm not mad at them being Whoa. number one. Look Again, how short I'm his brief is. I'm keeping my non-bias the way I have this entire time. I didn't want to defend Adam-22. Nor do I want to defend this gentleman. Why he they, should be in the top five. Why yeah. didn't they put a write up on him? They they barely give him anything. And that's based off what hip hop media is now. For more on the So I'm not sure if I'm giving a compliment right now by saying <laughs> I think these people should be in the top five. They previously served as co hosts of Budden's The Joe Budden Podcast, and Rory was unexpectedly fired from the podcast after weeks of disputes, and Ma stepped away from the pod shortly after in May 2021. Last February, Maul joined the Personal Party podcast where he said there's no chance of reconciliation. I don't respect him at all. You never shake his hand again. Shake his hands? <laughs> I'll shake the room before I shake his hand, bro. Damn. That's just what it is. I mean, you know, because like I said, it was it, it's not even about the business or the money. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. So I, I'm, <laughs> It's a lot of money, bro, mm. that me and Rory walked away from. It's a lot of money that was taken out of our pockets. It's a lot of money that we still, to this day, we don't have no lawyers going after it. Keep it. We got our own back. But with that, with that money that we walked away from and with that, you know, what was owed to us that we walked away from, that was also me walking away from a relationship and a chapter of my life that once I walk away, you know, that door never opens again because it takes a lot to get me to that point. So once I'm near... Um, it's over, you know what I mean? Elsewhere, Button has continued to claim that he did the right thing in allowing his co-host to leave and said his podcast is the best it's ever been. Shortly after Joe Button was deemed the top dog on Complex's list, he sat down for an interview with the publication where he said hip-hop media personnel are bigger than rappers now. But Joe heard his former host clowning on him and he replied on his own podcast saying this. Instead of critiquing people's placement on this list, we need more critiquing on why you're not on it. To everyone not on it, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's some steps that you <laughs> niggas have missed. Get people to help. Invest in the staff. Pay the staff. Get more staff. Stop check chasing. Stop doing the bare minimum and expecting that to yield results. You niggas are the bare minimum boys. <laughs> you niggas get that bag put it in your pocket and do the bare minimum but what do you think about what Rory and Ma had to say about Joe Budden being number one hip hop media personality let us know your thoughts in the comment section below make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos and as always make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com